With a mission to look at the lack of development on women's livelihood, I set out for Angwan Basa Deji of Gwagwalada Area Council of Abuja. As early as 8 in the morning, children of school age were roaming the streets when their peers are busy learning in school. I used to go to school, but now I've stopped. No money. I used to go to school, but later stopped. Pregnant women, nursing mothers, and even elderly women with their basins of grains were trekking the long distance from Basa to Paiko to access medical care. I'm going to ground at Paiko as there is no grounding machine at Basa. There is no place to work. The only job is to wash plates for some household. We we'll only pay 3,500 naira. Malana Mashita, real names with health, has just been compelled to spend all her savings getting from sold grains meant for food. Now this way, we know before now, Karan, they're going to give her drip and um, blood. I spent 40,000 for this uh, Gimba hospital. They say they send a general hospital and they know they, they know they help people. Even though they see the sick, you know, get money for and they know go help you. That's not all. This group of women, some pregnant, others with babies, age of school age, are all engaged in this backbreaking job in a quest for survival. She says she's been on this job for the past 20 years and the highest she takes home is either 5,000 and even as low as 1,500. It's a seasonal job that thrives during dry season. They're suckling babies and young children are left all to themselves. They ask us for money to enroll our children in From dawn to dusk. The hustling continues. If we don't pack this sun, we will not be able to eat. Mm, we they fine. We know they see it. And some people might they just come right our name or they say won't give our account number, say they will bring fertilizer for us with seat. But small small children they write their our name, they collect our passport, we're not gonna see anything. They want one thousand for register, so on two two thousand for I also came across eighteen year old Sharifa Ibrahim. An SS1 student. They are pushing me for school because of school fees. And I come and pack some, then collect the money and go and pay my school fees. 9,000. When I carry this time, my nigga is spending me my body with week. And back to the river, it serves as the only major source of water to the Basa community. No water or light. For so many years, they have been promising us light, but we have not seen. Seven years, they reach every eight years. Now they do reach where they will transform for this and Guambasa and the North Eastern. Year in, year out, from mothers to children, the circle continues, hampering education. Even though they bring fertilizer for this area, they not go give us. Though with the visible presence of big schools, not all can even afford the little fee being charged. We have library, but the library is empty. Our classes, people have been in touch with inside the class. Who sit on the floor? Many things have been happening. With this situation, it therefore becomes difficult for girls who are menstruating to attend school, as there are no toilets or wash facilities. If they want to go and change it, how are they going to do? No toilet, no way they will hide. Even they want to urinate, they are urinating anywhere. Then I sought out a traditional ruler. Yeah, we need more of the boroughs in the community. This is the wooden poles that was purchased by the community. The community generally are farmers. Uh, we need fertilizers. And the soil is very weak. If you go to the primary school, pre-colonial primary school, the classroom is not enough and the fencing too is seriously needed. The noise of the vehicle passing too. The health center too, we need more drugs. Women go for antenatal. I think they have to pay. During the childbirth, they asked to pay some stipend. The sort of not going for these people who attended this uh, health, but I know they are not qualified enough to attend to this kind of situation. But then, who is to be blamed? In finding answers, I took to the Wagolada Area Council Secretariat. The chairman was absent. Findings, however, show that Wagolada Area Council has a budget of over 500 million naira, just like other area councils with a good share, where women and girls are suffering a similar fate. Who then is to be held accountable? <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello.